Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adini Kebabalola and I'm happy to be with you once again today. So this time around, we're going to be looking at the IELTS Writing Task 1 Academic and we are focusing on diagrams or processes, okay? Now, you know that um, Task 1 in the academic model is report writing and so you can have a diagram or a process. So today I'm going to um, explain how the diagram or process works using an actual example that was written by you know British Council educators. I, I think I said in previous videos that earlier in the year we organized um, you know certain classes, certain trainings on future learn and I took one of the courses. I took the writing course at the time just to make sure that I'm updated with everything writing. So I'm sharing with you something we used you know during the course of the cost <laughs> in that sense. So let me try to show this to you. Okay, so yes, this lighting is the, it's not the best at all, but I just want you to, I want to see if you can see this. Okay, so this is what the diagram looks like. Up, up there, that's up here, you can see the solar panel um, photovoltaic cells, then just a little down what you can see DC power from panel then, you know, this all the way down here, you can see ground level written on this side. And on this side, you have water tank. You have this tank here. There's a water tank. Beneath it, you have water level. This is a, this is an underground bore or well. So you have the bore pump inside it, and then you have water level. And on this side, you have two village, okay? So basically, this looks like um, the process you know, or the processes involved in our water is supplied to a village, okay? And we have, um, if you if you can see clearly, they're just basically three parts. You have this solar panel, you have the underground well, and then you have the water tank, okay? From which, you know, water goes out into the village. So I'm going to read you what the examiner wrote for this IELTS writing task one academic. You know, it's, it's, it's a diagram, okay? So I'm going to, read you what the examiner put down for this or the yeah you can say examiner educator so this is just a model answer okay okay now that's not good that's not good but this is it okay this is what it looks like let me just let me just read on since it's not very clear okay so this is it the diagram demonstrates how a solar powered water pump is used to supply water for a village there are three main components to the system, a solar panel, an underground bore or well with a water pump inside it, and a tank for holding the water after it has been pumped up from the underground source. The first part of the process involves collecting sunlight to power the pump. A solar panel consisting of photovoltaic cells is mounted facing the sun on a raised pole well above the ground. DC electricity is collected when the panel is exposed to sunlight. This DC current travels from the panel to power a water pump, which is suspended below the water level inside an underground well or bore. The DC power is used to pump water from the well into an outlet pipe, which runs from the pump up the well, through the bore cap, and into the top of a water tank which is situated on the ground nearby. The water then runs in a pipe to a village where it provides fresh water to the residents. The end. <laughs> Altogether, you have 186 words. And it's just three paragraphs, okay? It's just three paragraphs, you can see that. So I'm going to explain how this works. Why did I choose something written by, you know, British Council educators? Um, yes, we know that Cambridge English Assessment you know, prepares the questions and everything. But then we also know that, you know, it all goes back to the British Council and all of it. So I chose to use something, you know, from the source. That way you have this, you're more guaranteed that um, if you write this way, you're likely to have a, nothing less than a band 8, 8.5, 7.5. It depends on how well your own reflections show through in the writing. But this is how the, you know, IELTS writing task one diagram or process works 
for your structure, you have just three paragraphs, okay? Unlike the map, or like um, the map or plan or table, and the other, you know, the other types of reports where you have four paragraphs: the introduction, overview, um, body one and body two. In the case of the map, or um, in the case of the diagram rather, or the process in the IELTS writing task on academic, what you have is three paragraphs, just three paragraphs. Now, in your first paragraph, what you have is the um, introduction, which is, you know, a paraphrase of the key. You have, you're given the diagram, okay? So the introduction is a paraphrase of what you're given for this. And then immediately in that same paragraph, you write out the overview, okay? Now, how do you write the overview for, you know, a process or a diagram in the IELTS writing task on academic? What you need to do is look at the diagram you've been given or the process and then see how many parts are involved, how many stages are involved, what are the things involved in that process. In this case, you actually have just three things, okay? You have this solar panel, you have this underground bore or well, and then you have this water tank. And that's what was written into the introduction, okay? That's into the first paragraph as the overview. You have there are three main components to the system. A solar panel, an underground bore or well with a water pump inside it. You can see this water pump inside. It is actually written on the side, bore pump, okay? And the tank, this is the tank for holding the water after it has been pumped up from the underground source, okay? You can see this. That's your overview. Let me go back quickly and read the introduction again. It says the diagram demonstrates how a solar powered water pump is used to supply water for a village. Okay, so that's what we have here. That was what was, you know, um, paraphrased into the, into the first paragraph. So you see that the first paragraph contains your introduction and your overview. Now I'm going to read you body one. What do you have in body one of the diagram of process in the IELTS writing task one academic? Simply you have the initial stages, you know, as with this one now, we have just two, we have um, three rather, we have three components, okay? The solar panel, the underground well, and then the water tank. So you see that the initial processes are, you know, described in this body one. Let me read it to you and show you how it corresponds. The first part of the process, please take note of the vocabulary, first part, okay? This is going to talk about this. The first part of the process involves collecting sunlight. That's what happens with the solar panel, okay? Collecting sunlight to pump, to power the pump, okay? So this solar panel collects sunlight to power this pump, all right? A solar panel consisting of photovoltaic cells is mounted. Now, are you noticing the verb, you know, the tense, present tense? But it is passive voice, okay? Instead of saying someone mounted a solar panel, you say, you know, in passive voice now. The other one would be active voice. But in this case, is mounted, is passive voice. We have chosen, we have chosen to um, hide or delete or not mention the individual. I know this is actually, you know, how scientific writing works and the rest of it. Good. Now, facing the sun, okay? A solar panel consisting of photovoltaic cells is mounted facing the sun on a raised pole well. Okay, a, a raised pole well above the ground. Now you can see ground level here. This is well above the ground, okay? So those are the first two sentences you have in that body one. Now the third sentence says DC electricity. Now you have DC power from panel. Now that power is changed or paraphrased to electricity. They're about the same thing, okay? Is collected when the panel is exposed to sunlight. It's just a continuation of this is placed above ground level and this is what comes in, okay? Now, the, the next sentence says, this DC current, now DC power is written here, but here we have used DC electricity and again we have used DC current travels from the panel to power a water pump. Can you see this? Which is suspended below the water level. Now you see that's below, right? Below the water level, inside an underground bore 
Yeah, an underground well or bore. That's the end of body one. Okay, are you getting it? So you see that it starts with what's happening here, the travel down and then to this point. Okay, so you see that body one has described the first and the second stages of this process. Now let's go to body two to see how this continues to this point. I know it's not so clear, but I just wish that you follow me this way. Thank you. Now, the DC power, that's the first time, you know, this um, sample is using DC power as it was written here. We've used DC electricity and DC current. Okay, now let's look at it. DC power is used to pump water from the well into an outlet pipe. Can you see this pipe here? Good which runs from the pump up the well through the bore cap. Now, can you see it? Okay, so you can see this pipe that goes out and it says which runs from the pump up the well through the bore cap, that should be this, and into the top of the water tank. This is the top of the water tank here, okay? Which is situated on the ground nearby. Now, this is still ground, right? Because this says ground level. The water then runs in a pipe, this pipe here, to a village where it provides fresh water to the residents. Simple. That's it. Okay? So the things you want to pay attention to is what are the stages involved? What are the processes involved in the diagram or the process? And from this one, you can see that the example shows you that there were three. There are three components, the solar panel, the um, underground well, and then the water tank, okay? And you see that the first, body, the first paragraph contains the introduction and the overview, while the second paragraph contains body one, which describes the first stage and the second stage. And then the third paragraph, which is body two, talks about the continuation from that second stage into the third stage, and that's the end. Okay, so you see that it's easy to write your diagram or process for the IELTS Writing Task School and Academic. All you need to do is look at it and summarize the information that you've been given. And before you know it, you'll be done. You don't need to rack your head over what is not there. Because honestly, when you do the task one, you don't need to bring in your opinion. Nobody cares about your opinion or what you think. It's just a case of look at the picture, look at the visual, and then summarize it for the examiner. So that's it for <laughs> diagram or process for the IELTS writing task core and academic. I hope you learned. I hope this example was very useful. I'll try to provide it um, at the end of the video. And I hope that you would, I think you can also check my description box. You please check my description box. I'll make sure that this is there. I'll provide this there for you so that you can actually see it and compare. I know the visual while I showed it wasn't too good. So once again, my name is Adeni Keva Balola. Don't forget that you can take the IELTS mock test on takeielts.net. Now, you know, I said that this is one test that allows you to see if you're ready for the IELTS test before you take the main one. So right here in your, right there in your home or in your office, wherever it is, you know, you sit in front of your PC for some three hours maximum. You do the listening, the reading, the writing, the speaking. And then after two days, you get your result with feedback from the examiner. So it means that, um, you don't have to pay the actual fee and make mistakes. Make your mistakes with the mock test and get better. You can, you know, there are three model, um, packages for the mock test. There's a package of one, a package of three, a package of five. So you can choose to, you know, retake the mock tests. Let's say you take one this week, you take one next week. And before you know it, you'll be ready for the main test. So I wish you all the best. Please check my description box for the link. And if you're using my link, you get a 25% discount which makes it all the more interesting because you get to save some money. So um, don't forget also that if you want to improve your English, you can visit EnglishNiger.com. You, you get to learn everything uh, you know, about um, common you know, spelling mistakes, commonly mispronounced words, pronunciation issues, um, grammar, vocabulary, and the like. Please check my description box for the link as well. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, please, Please do. <laughs> okay, then, so that's it for me today. I wish you a wonderful time. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.